Hi, this is Chris from First Team FRC 612. This is a video of me taking apart the classmate or our team's classmate PC. Um, I took the video and it's sped up times two, and this is just a voiceover track to explain what I'm doing. Um, just a quick disclaimer the classmate PC for our team was taken apart before uh, a few times because we've had some problems with it. Uh, we ultimately never fixed them, but Regardless, so some of the screws I know when I was taking them out were not the right size. They were like a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, and it was no big deal. But it may look a little bit different on your classmate if it hasn't been taken apart yet. There's also another part where um, there was only one screw holding like the motherboard in at the very last step. There may have been like two or three. I maybe we lost a screw. I'm not quite sure, but just throwing that out there, there might be like one tiny little other thing uh, in addition to what's shown in this video. Uh, at a particular step. Also, I apologize in advance for the video quality. This is uh, taken from my Droid X. Uh, I didn't really have a tripod and I just wanted to get it done, so I propped it up against a chair. So, uh, I apologize for that and it's kind of hard to see if I'm holding the classmate up so I can see it. I might have taken it away from the camera just to let you know in advance. Uh, but yeah, so just jump right to it. Um, here we go. So I took apart the classmate earlier this build season. Uh, it took a little while. So uh, in this video I'm rushing through uh, trying to take it apart again real quick and videotape the process. So I took uh, the two, two screws out of the, um, the back cover uh, it covers like the motherboard from the back. There are two two screws for that, and then uh, I took out three screws um, in those I don't know the recessed holes uh, in between the cover and where the battery is, and then I think there's three or four screws um, underneath the battery. And you have to get those out too. So to get the keyboard out, there are two clips about right there. Um, yeah, in those two spots where I have the two uh, small screwdrivers. And what I just did is I pressed both clips in, or tried to press both clips in at the same time, and then pry it up a little bit, and then it's caught up at the top, and you just gotta pull it out there too. Uh, when I pulled this keyboard out this time, it actually pulled the ribbon cable right out of the slot. Um, it didn't the first time, so what you have to do is just take that white part and just pull it out vertically. Uh, and then of course you see the two screw holes on the right and the left uh, where the keyboard used to be. Uh, and just on a quick side note, that little black piece of plastic, uh, you want to remove that. that will save you some time later. Alright, so now I just took out the RAM. And there are two, uh, two screws holding in the solid state drive. Um, taking down two corners, so pull those out and you have this clip. You're just going to want to flip the black part of the clip up uh, away from the ribbon cable and then you can just slide it right out. Uh, there is a, well that's the wireless antenna uh, cable and it's going into that wireless chip. And you just got to pull it off. Um, you just pop it off with two screwdrivers or needle nose or however you want to do it. It's on there a little bit tight. Uh, and then also that screw that I just took off the um, right next to where the wireless card was. Don't take that off. That was a mistake. And then, oh, yeah, so the, the screw that I, I'm taking out now and uh, the one I just took out before that, those are just two more holding the, uh, the two pieces of the case together. So you got to get both of those out. Yeah.
Yeah, I think this was the point where uh, when we reassembled our classmate, we um, tightened those screws a little too tightly, so I had to go get a larger screwdriver. But no difference. These four screws on the on the lid, um, I forgot what I was doing. You don't need to remove those. Uh, you don't want to remove those. That's for if you're getting inside the the lid. But I realized after I took them out that you, that's not what we're doing, and you don't need to do that. This part though, to uh, get that gray plastic piece out, you're gonna have to um, take two wagos or precision screwdrivers. Yeah, just like that. You're going to have to pry it out. There are two clips on the back, and then you just got to pry it off the front. Once you're in here, there are going to be five screws, one in the center and two on both sides, securing um, two metal pieces in. The one in the middle is securing the two cases together, and the, um, the two on either side are... Uh, they're holding the actual screen um, to the rest of the classmate PC. And you're going to have to take those out too. Uh, at this point I forgot there's one more on either side on the underside. So you just got to flip that over They're right next to the um, the label, the black label indicating um, that like the the battery don't throw it away and like the uh, input voltage and amperage is right next to that the, that sticker on the underside or on either side of it. And once you get those two out, you can pull off the lid. Be a little careful once you get it off because you took out the Wi-Fi antenna, but there are two more cables that are um, that'll snag it. So you're gonna have to take in uh, some needle nose pliers, or I prefer two precision flathead screwdrivers. Whatever you can get in there, just pull those out on both sides. Sorry, I'm holding it away from the camera at this point. Um, right now I'm trying to remember what other screws there are that are uh, holding it together and I'm trying to look in there and see what's still snagging the two pieces of the case together. So I finally uh, remembered or realized, depending on how you look at it, uh, what screws were still holding it up. They're under the rubber feet in the corners uh, on the underside of the classmate and you can just pry those out uh, prime or pull them I used uh, some precision flatheads you might be able to use needle nose too you can pull them out they they go back in they're not like um, adhesive on the back they uh, they slide in nicely so it's not no permanent damage or anything done by taking those out And there we go. Should just be a little bit more prying at this point. Actually, it popped off uh, that piece. That's the LED and like power indicator. I can go back on later. So I, I pulled apart the two pieces, but they're still connected um, by wires. 
there's a, uh, a speaker cable in the back that connects to the motherboard, and that's what I'm pulling out. Or uh, so my one of my teammates has helped me out with right there. And then you can see the two ribbon cables. If you remember back when you moved the keyboard um, and that black uh, piece of plastic, if you lifted that up, you could see both of where those, uh, both of the connectors for those ribbon cables and where they connect with the motherboard. And it's really easy access if you do it that way. Um, I realized that the hard way when I was putting it back together later. Um, so yeah, so uh, when you're at when you're taking off the keyboard at that step, if you want, or it, it doesn't matter, you can do it then too. But do it do it the easy way through the keyboard. Take off that black piece of plastic, pop off the two connectors, lift them up vertically, and then slide out the ribbon cables that way. And you won't have to um, hassle with uh, taking them out at a funny angle later once you get the two cases apart or two pieces of the cases right apart. Great. So now it's uh, disassembled, you can get to the motherboard, and then just to pull that out you're just going to have to um, fudge around with it a little bit and uh, there was one more screw that was holding it in it's like right in the center I don't know if that was normal or not, I forget if that was there the first time we disassembled it it probably was. Maybe, maybe there were a few more. Not quite sure, but all right. So you pull out the motherboard, and then there you go. You got another. Um, I'm pretty sure those are speaker connections. And just pull those out. And then at that point, you should have the entire motherboard all separated um, and everything in its individual components. Great, so I hope this video is of at least some help. Uh, please let me know if there are any other questions um, or if some other parts were confusing or you couldn't see the classmate because uh, of the angle or something. Uh, just let me know. I'll be happy to help out any other way. Um, also, I, I had another video of it, of uh, reassembling it, but essentially uh, you just backtrack and redo all the things that you undid, uh, just pull the screws back in, um, things like that. So uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, just let me know if there's anything that uh, I can explain better. Uh, but yeah, so I hope this helps. Alright, thanks.